So Bo is uh, so pissed that he doesn't want to re review the car. Uh, I, I like the looks of the car. Uh, getting into the how, car. How can you like something that looks like this? The designer has no freaking direction whatsoever. Let him. You, you, know, you know what it looks like. You know what it looks like. I get you not. It looks like this. You send me the photos. <laughs> it, it looks like a fucking Velociraptor. I get you not. Let's show them, show them. The back of the car looks exactly like this. You, afterwards, we'll show you a picture. This is the little exhaust hole. <laughs> the little eye, then the ass dimple here. Okay, the two ass dimple. And the little diffuser at the back is the teeth. So oh my goodness! As you can see, Bo is really pissed. First impressions, uh, I mean, uh, start with you, lah. I, I will start myself, lah. I have no preconceived notions. <laughs> haven't even driven the car yet. I haven't driven, I haven't the, car. driven the car yet. I like the looks of the exterior. Uh, it's very sporty. Uh, it looks very fun, very exciting. Uh, first impression of the car, I have to say, I never liked the looks. Uh, I, I felt it was too, too, too amateurish, too, too messy, too many things going on. But how about the interior? Oh, you're talking interior. Yeah, it's a bit tacky. Uh. Tacky. Uh. I, I find it very tacky. Um, you can be sporty, you see, you can be sporty and you can be ums, ums, ums. Uh -huh. uh, the, a lot of cars are like that, you know, but not uh -huh. to this level. Uh, this feels like a spaceship handle. Well, let me ask you this, <laughs> have, you, have you seen a car designed based on a dinosaur It feels like a spaceship? <laughs> <laughs> I think someone with the idea of the CRX came to the one of the directors and said, listen, when Honda was coming up in the world, they had this product called the CRX. And, and everybody was, loved it. And everybody loved it. it had this, Every Abing one's one. It had the same thing like yeah. this at the back. Mm -hmm. And then it had, you know, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a practical but sporty car. <laughs> Hatchy sort of coupe So this thing. is a Korean version of the CRX. Lah. I think, yeah, they nodded and said, yes, we should do that because Hyundai is coming up. And two, then, two decades late. <laughs> two decades late and yeah. very off the mark. <laughs> yeah, or very off the yeah, mark. Yeah, but the CRX didn't look like a dinosaur. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, but it's okay. This, no man, you don't put a dinosaur there and say, okay, let's model our car. How's that a fucking dinosaur? What the fuck does that? I think that's really a coincidence. I, <laughs> you think it's a coincidence? I really think so. It's so fucking obvious. I don't obvious. think so, bro. <laughs> like two dimples like that at the back, uh, it's not very typical of a, a car design. I think uh, the lights were supposed to go there and then they thought, let's make it funky. Or the, the boot probably comes up there. And I give you the benefit of the doubt, but here's the problem, you see. <laughs> it looks too a much. Boxster, like, a right. boxster is a boxer roadster. Right. A Veloster is a the what? Velocity yeah, like, roadster. They call it a roadster. Did they even ever bother to check what the fuck a roadster on the, means? On uh? the brochure, it, it says in mirrored text. Uh, it says Velocity Sluster. <laughs> It looks good. Interior looks good. Exterior looks good. I'm gonna drive the car and we'll see what happens. Oh, by the way, it's 1.6 turbo. Yeah, it's turbo. Uh, this one is turbo. Turbo, uh? Yeah. Feeling it? Uh, it's not fast, huh? <laughs> that is the most. That's the end of our review. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in. Wait, 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 wait. Where, uh, is there a switch uh, to put press? To turn on the turbo. <laughs> Yeah, switch to turn on the turbo or sport button. Uh. You can flick the gear to the left. Uh. Uh, Manola. Now you're on sport mode. Okay, we still have hope. Okay, when you want to lean over, bro, can I see your face? When you, when you press the pedal, Harvey, there's a little bump, you know. Okay. Only after you go to, after the bump, then it really lets you, you know. Okay. Yeah. So just throw it all the way. Floor, floor. Supposed to be a turbo. Isn't it? <laughs> I can see why you guys are disappointed with this car. I have to put this car into context. Uh, this is for a 30 something year old guy who uh, probably might be going through a midlife crisis, cannot afford a 911, cannot afford a Boxster, cannot afford a Cayman, cannot even afford a Miata, and he wants to have some practicality and sportiness. But they don't want the uh, drab looks of a wagon, so they will go for this car. That, that is the niche right there. I guess I could... <laughs> the, the niche doesn't exist. <laughs> it's pretty feature-rich. I mean, they didn't overcharge for the product because there's a lot of stuff in here. That oh, is it? Yeah. Like what? Like the seven speaker with subwoofer system. We didn't even turn it off. They have a tree padding insulation behind the dash to reduce the, the, the noise from the engine. Because it sounds so bad. Uh, I kid you not. It is still... <laughs> But well, we when you rev, it's kind of loud, uh, but right now you cannot really hear it. Somehow, the the engine is all aluminum, apparently. So there it is. Uh, that's a good 
feature, a double clutch transmission. You got a uh, triple padding behind the dashboard. Uh, and then you have all aluminum engine. Two. Two. Ash. <laughs> uh, what is this called? 12 volt. Uh, 12 sockets. volt. Uh, yeah, sockets. They have two. No cars have ever had so that. Obviously, no, Bo hates the car. La, la. Uh, I tell you. It's a, and here's the thing USB connector right here. Most uh, cars go and hide it here, hide it here. Why? Put it here. Learn from Hyundai. Right here in your yeah, face. Yeah, it's very nicely uh, tucked. Very nicely tucked. Like <laughs> ah, that's right, man. That's right here. You hear that Porsche? Learn this. You hear that Audi? <laughs> put your engine stop start in the middle so your kids can go and turn off your engine. <laughs> 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 Mommy! <laughs> It's got a big moonroof. <laughs> the moonroof is nice. It's yeah. very big. Uh, it's, it's bigger than a sunroof. And there's windows everywhere on the top. There's windows everywhere. So there's if you're one. depressed in Sweden in midwinter, you can see some sunlight and you will feel happy about life. So we can do final thoughts uh, to wrap it up. Yeah. So maybe we'll just start with Boa. Uh, build quality wise, it's a little bit better than a lot of uh, Hyundai's from three, four years ago. I've, uh, I've said it. So build quality is okay. It's not too bad. Uh, the whole car just screamed tackiness, like, it's just so tacky. I don't know what to say. Like. Um, you want to present a car that looks sporty, you give it some performance, but there's none. You say there's a turbo, you remind your, your, your driver that you have turbo in a seat, you remind him in the floor, but he has to look for it <laughs> when he drives it. Uh, it doesn't impress me by doing this. I, I prefer cars that are more genuine. Uh, you don't have to be great in order for me to like you, but you don't pretend to be great when you're not. I see. Yeah. And how about Shubas? Yeah, I think conceptually, I cannot blame them for taking this route. I think when they when they planned this car, they, Hyundai was in a place where they were suddenly doing better than they ever done in their life. Okay. And uh, I think they wanted this to be a real statement car that, that anyone could afford, not just like a Hyundai Genesis or something like that. But the execution, I really think they could have done, like uh, we've been saying, uh, the tuning could have been a lot better. The turbo, I mean, it should have just put in a bigger, naturally aspirated engine, maybe a two-meter, like, yeah. But, yeah, if you keep bashing cars like this, I think the company should stop making crazy cars like this. Uh, I, I'm not against the craziness of this car, even though I'm I don't, not a fan of the design or anything like that. But I think they could use a bit more professionalism and more, a better direction in this car. I see. I, I, I admire Hyundai's uh, guts uh, in making uh, such a daring uh, uh, a choice as a car producer. They're, they are just up and coming, they're not like the most established car company. And they have decided to go with such aggressive design, exterior design. Um, it's The whole concept is new, uh, they're trying to create a kind of a car for the new generation, young people. And they will, I, I guess they did some survey and they got some feedback and they had some committees. And this was what they came up with. And I know that what they've been trying to do, they try to do the twin clutch, which is high tech, right? They have Turbo. They Turbo. have a big sunroof, which is called a moonroof, which is like a big plus for uh, for guys who like convertibles and sunroof. Uh, they also, I mean, they put a turbo as as one of the option. Because everybody has turbo, no? So all these things are check checklists that are good and specs that are good uh, for the consumer. It's just that, as Bo and Subash put it. The execution part, when they test this car, the guy who tested it probably was not uh, very attentive to how the power band was responding. Uh, it's probably the development phase uh, where they probably could have maybe hold off uh, maybe six more months before they release the car and get someone more, uh, with more experience and more uh, perspective to, uh, to develop the car. Uh, I, I suggest you hire an English-speaking uh, person to name your car next time. Velocity Stir. <laughs> That's the way to do it. La. So yeah, here it is. <laughs> Velocity Stir. So uh, thank, thanks for watching us. We are, thanks for watching us. We are Autophiles. Uh, signing out from uh, PJ. I'm Howie. Bo. Subash. John. My pet! <laughs> <laughs>